Hello, everybody. My name is Eric D. Jones, also known as Brightshine. I live here in the city of Memphis, in the state of Tennessee, in the county of Shelby. I want to first say thank you to all my fans, my supporters, for all your continued encouragement and support. In today's date, it's early Monday morning, October 27, 2014, time 2.50 a.m. And um, I'm going to date today's video with yesterday's date, which will be Sunday, October 26, 2014. And um, as I said, I want to first say thank you to all my fans, my support, for your continued encouragement and support. You know, I always keep my fans informed. In and you know, I'll continue to keep myself employed in a company here, uh, named Ameriprise, right here, on, uh, right here in the city of Memphis. It's in the state of Tennessee, in the county ship. You know. It's on the corners of uh, Dance Avenue and, and Walnut Street. Number 10, to further my education, I pursued my associate degree at Monroe College Online. I studied uh, business administration with a concentration in marketing. And uh, that's what I was doing yesterday. Because Saturday, as you know, uh, Spend a lot of my time uh, taking pictures and and uh, recording my music at One Sound Studio. And uh, then yesterday Sunday, uh, after going to church, you know I attended Klondike Church of Christ, and my mother she attended Midtown Church of Christ on Union Avenue. Right here in Memphis, Tennessee, in Klondike Church, right, right there on uh, Valentine Avenue. But after church, I had to get caught back up for my, my study. And so then when I spent the uh, rest of my time doing my Sunday, getting caught back up for my study. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, that's what I've been, you know, trying to, trying to uh, maintain. Is uh, continue to keep, keep um, pursue my education, and uh, I'm not gonna be long in this video. I'm gonna get right back into how talking, how discussing on African traditional religion and West African traditional religion. I have to always, always acknowledge and recognize the people, African traditional religion. West African traditional religion. Afro Asiatic language, uh, languages, Berber, Chadic, Kushani, Egyptian, Omotic, and Semitic. And uh, the Berber, varieties of Berber, classification, language classification, is uh, the Shilkit, Kabbalah, Atlas, the Mazite, Rifi, Shawi, and Tuareg. Those are the verbal language classification. And then you have the uh, Omadi language classification. North and South Omadi, uh, Mao, and Vice. And uh, West Mao, Ozo, Sili, 
I'll take Dazzle, Easy, Sheepo, Nagy, uh, Gun Gang, Kamoji, Gun Gang, P4, Omo, Aquino, Pape, Takacho, Kamoji, Nimse, uh, Omite, Kamire, Hit, Chari. Your north and south on my advantage, and then you know, south on my you know, a roll and then hammer, uh, what's it, banner, bane, a rat, diamond, cola, uh, cola, you know, all, all those name attacks there are your old mighty name attacks for this, and afro asiatic, then you have your chatty name attacks for this. It's an Afro Asiatic language. You know, you have your West Chat, has uh, two branches the Hase, the Run, Nobly, the Angus, right? and, and uh, B. <coughs> the Badi, Waja, and Zoa, right? It's the West Chat. Then you have your uh, BU, a direct central chat. Three branches, which include A, the Bure, Kanwe, and Beite. Then your B, the Dume, and Musku, and C, Gaida. That's your uh, central chat. Then you have your east chat. Two branches, A, Ture, and C, and Kire. And the B is the Pagurie, the Mukulu, and Sokolo. Those are your uh, band base All those are your chatty uh, language classification. And for Asiatic language. Then you have your Kushiti. Kushiti language. And uh, the Kushiti uh, language classification uh, branches the Bayo, North Kushiti, Central Kushiti. And East Kush, Lonely East Kush, Dale, and South Kush. And those are your Kush language classification, Afro Asiatic language classification. Then you have your Egyptian language classification, uh, Archaic Egyptian, Old Egyptian, Middle Egyptian. Late Egypt, remote Egypt, and Coptic Egypt. All uh, Egyptian language classification is Afro Asiatic language classification. Then you have your Semitic language classification. Arabic is a uh, Semitic language and Afro Asiatic language classification. You have classical Arabic, modern standard Arabic, and colloquial or dialectical Arabic. And that's your Arabic language classification. And, and it's Semitic language classification and Afro Asiatic language classification. Then you have Amharic language classification. It is the official language of the African of the African nation of Ethiopia. And uh it's, it's classified as a Semitic language in the Afro Asian language classification. Then you have Tigrinian. Tigrinian is a Semitic language in classification in Afro Asiatic language classification. It is the official language of the African nation of Eritrea and one of the official languages of the African nation of Ethiopia. And Tigrinian is a Semitic, or it is classified as a Semitic language and classified as an Afro Asiatic language. And uh, Canaanite, Hebrew, Hebrew is a Canaanite uh, language, and Canaanite is a Semitic, it is classified as a Semitic language, and Semitic is an 
Afro Asiatic language. And uh, you have arcane biblical Hebrew, standard biblical Hebrew, late biblical Hebrew, Israelian Hebrew, Dead Sea Scroll Hebrew, Mishnaic Hebrew, Ammonite Hebrew, Moabite Hebrew, Edomite Hebrew, Biblical Hebrew, Tiberian Hebrew, Mishrahi Hebrew, Yemenite Hebrew, Sephardi Hebrew, Ashkenazi Hebrew, Mishnaic Hebrew, Medieval Hebrew, Ashkali Hebrew, Modern Hebrew, Israeli Hebrew, Ancient Samaritan Hebrew, Samaritan Hebrew. Uh, the Canaanite language also has Phoenician. Is a Canaanite language. It's an extinct language. And Punic is also a Canaanite language. It's extinct. And again, uh, Hebrew is classified as a Canaanite language. And Canaanite is classified as a Semitic language. And Semitic is classified as an Afro-Asiatic language. Now, Aramaic is classified as a Semitic language. And again, Semitic is classified as an Afro-Asiatic language. And you have Old Aramaic, Middle Aramaic, and Modern Aramaic. Now, all those languages are classified as Semitic languages. And Semitic is classified as an Afro-Asiatic language. to the Nilo-Saharan language classification. The Nilo-Saharan language, language classification. Luo uh, is a Nilo-Saharan language. Kanuri is a Nilo-Saharan language. Sunghei, the Sunghei. Classified as Nilo Saharan and Tiso is uh, classified as Nilo Saharan. A Nubian is a Nilo Saharan language. Lubare is classified as Nilo Saharan. And Kanunji is classified as Nilo Saharan and they have a dialect called Nandi, called Nandi and Hoka. It's a uh, Classified as Nilo Saharan. Lango, which is a Luo language, classified as a Nilo Saharan language. Dinka, a Nilo Saharan language. Acholi, another Luo language, is classified as a Nilo Saharan language. Masai is a uh, Nilo Saharan language. And Gambe is a Nilo Saharan language. Nu is a Nilo Saharan language. Fur is a Nilo Saharan language. Tulu is a Nilo Saharan language with two uh, dialects, the Zaye and Tindaye. Nilo Saharan language. Inhe, Niger, Congo, A and B. And all. Niger, Niger, Congo, quarter funny, Niger classified, Niger, Congo. Mandy is classified as a uh, Mandy, Mandy uh, classified as Niger, Congo, include Ambare, uh, Somiki. Classified as Niger, Congo. Ijo. Ijo, 
be fighting classified Nigel Congo, Doga Nigel Congo, Lim, Bolo, including Fule, Nigel Congo, the crew, including Yeti and Jabway and Dante, classified language services, Nigel Congo, uh, crew. Sinuto and Sinali and uh, Sugiri, which is crew, uh, uh, crew classified Nigel Congo and uh, Gur and crew more uh, is Nigel Congo and a Mamwe, which is Chambe Nigel Congo. Ubanji language, Sango, classified Niger Congo, Kwe, which is a king, language translated Niger Congo, Volta language, West Bean Congo, the Jibi language, which is Ibi, Niger Congo, the Yoruba. Igbo, Edo, Nu, Adome, Tia, Niger, Congo, East Bingo, Congo, the Bantu Savage, Niger, Congo, Swahili, Fang, Congo, Dulu, Swazi, Bitu, Lingale, Piku, which is Kikuni, Kembe, Gusi, Miri, Tukume, and Yambisi, Dogo, Katube, Luande, Mbundu, Congo, Yante, Ganda, Chiga, Inyakori, Soge, Haye, Lulu, Lengi, Rwanda, Rwandi, Hay, Lube, Sangi, Tange, Inyakuse, Ingunde, Inyanje, Tumbuke, Sine, Kua, Yo, Ingulu, Makundi, Imbandu, Iriro, Shone, Indau, Soto, Tiswane, and uh, Pigi, South Soto, and North Soto, Tiswane, South Indibiru, North Indibiru, Lozi, Tisange, Tisle, Range, Chopa, Bende, all. Uh, Classified language translate Niger, Congo, A and B. The court sand language classification. Court is a language group and sand is a language group. Now these are your click constant language groups and the court saying some of those language are uh, distinct and then there are others that are more modern and uh trying to pronounce some you know I'm not gonna say they my from pronunciation is proficient when it comes to court saying you know the click constant and things in there so uh but like i said the core saying two groups not one core saying not one the core is a group and the sand is a group and uh that's another uh language classification group then you had Austronesia which is a Malagasy language and the Malagasy is a Malay or Polynesian uh, uh, language. Uh, Malay or Poly, uh, Polynesian language. Uh, the Indonesian, Malaysia, and the Philippines. And uh, Malay was the national language of Madagascar, the island nation of Madagascar. And uh, 
Well, I guess, you know, as we move into the first graph, plane's classification. slave trade took people from the West African nation the coastline and uh, the people were sent to the Western Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere is, is uh, the nations of Canada and the United States in North America that's North America and Sometimes they include Mexico. You know, a lot of people, you know, that's North America. Canada, United States, Mexico. Then you have Central America. Then you have South America. Then you have the Caribbean. That's all Pacific, the Western Hemisphere. Including some of the islands. That's included in the Bahamas. Not just the Caribbean, but some of the islands on uh, the West. And uh, that's what they call the Western Hemisphere. And in the slave trade, the Western Hemisphere, uh, the areas that had the, you know, that, that was documented as had the groups of people, in the historical record, the historical record documents that the slave trade from Africa to Western Hemisphere is. Took people from Senegal, Gambia, 4.8 percent. The Upper Guinea, Deep South, Guinea and Sierra Leone, 4.1 percent. The Wimbra Coast, Liberia, and Cote d'Ivoire, 1.8 percent. The Gold Coast, Ghana, and east of Cote d'Ivoire. The Gold Coast, Ghana, and east of Cote d'Ivoire, 10.4. The Bight of Benin, Togo, Benin, Nigeria, west of the Niger Delta, 20.2%. The Bight of Biafra, Nigeria, east of the Niger Delta, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon, 14.6%. West Central Africa, Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Angola. 39.4% Southeastern Africa, Mozambique and Madagascar, 4.7%. The West African slave trade, they had over 45 distinct ethnic groups, were taken to the Americas during the slave trade. They said of the 45 ethnic groups, the 10 most prominent According to historical records, the 10 most prominent groups that were taken from the continent of West Africa, you know, the continent of Africa, from the west, western coastline of the African continent. Number one, the Bakongo of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Angola. That's number one. Number two, the Mandi of Upper Guinea. Number three, the Jidi speakers of Togo, Ghana, and Benin, and Jaffa. Mina, Iwa, Iwi, and Fane. Number four, the Akane of Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Number five, the Wolo of Senegal and the Gambia. Number six, the Igbo of southeastern Nigeria. Number seven, the Mbandu of Angola, including both Mbandu and Oban Bandu. Number eight, the Yoruba of southwestern Nigeria. Number nine, the Chambay of Cameroon. Number ten, the Macau of Mozambique. The East African slave trade uh, 
when you think about the island of Zanzibar, the East African slave trade, when you think about the island of Zanzibar, it's off the coast of Tanzania. When you think about uh, the slave trade, East African slave trade, who is Tip 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 Tip? Who is Tip Boo Tip? He was a slave trader. He was a slave trader. East African slave trader. He owned over ten thousand, over ten thousand slaves. What does the word Zan mean? Z a n j. Z a n j. It's an Arabic word. It means Bantu. You can see the people that are living in, in the Indian Ocean on the Indian Ocean Islands, the people of Bantu. Because the, uh, during the East African slave trade, the French took slaves from the East Coast of Africa and took them to these, these islands to be slaves. And all over uh, the Middle East, Central Asia. East Asia, you know, East Asia, Indian South, North, South, South Asia. Uh, the historical record verifies that the people who were sent to those regions of the world, they came from Africa in the East African slave trade. And uh, like I said, you have to acknowledge and recognize the people in African traditional view, West African traditional view. We're going to conclude our, our talk and discussion. And again, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Bryce High. I live here in the city of Memphis, the state of Tennessee, in the county sheriff. And again, I want to thank all my fans and my support for your continued encouragement and support. Again, looking for, you know, like I said, I already went to the uh, studio. I did some pictures, got some more pictures to take, and I already did my recording. I got some more recording. I'm not going to stop there. But uh, my music being, being, being prepared, and I'll uh, be looking for a video, music video, and i um, be looking for some, uh, doing some dates and things in there so, you know, things will be you know, progressing forward step-by-step process and uh until my next video take care of yourself i wish each and every one of you best